All right, here we go again. Another day, night patrol. Coming along with me for a ride along. Let's get into this. All right, we just finished up the Conway area, and it's in the red still, which is a bit crazy. Um, it's really nice to see that they're all vehicle patrols now. There are uh, two foot patrols down here earlier, if not three. I believe three. Okay, where should we go this time? Where should we go? Go ahead. Where would you guys select? Or should we uh, do an open patrol? Let's see. I have four, uh, four badges. But I'm trying to get a Dodge uh, Charger. I haven't... Uh, I don't have the Dodge Charger vehicle yet, so I don't know how long it takes to get that. Um, but let's go down here. Since I did this area last, let's go ahead and do this area. Callahan. It is a family landed in... After the Callahan family landed, they obtained a... Okay. 20-minute shift. We'll go on patrol shortly. Alright, here we go. So, progress. Callahan, Conway, Callahan Financial Sector, and Jefferson. Got to uh, secure all of those areas. Making sure that uh, there's some officer presence there. We have reports of a high crime rate in this area. Show police presence and take care of it. Got it. There you got it. Uh, I've been taking, as you notice in all my other videos, I've been taking this small vehicle lately. I don't know if there's a name uh, for the brand of this vehicle, what they call it, as opposed to like the, uh, well, we have new tags, 20, 2024 tags, I can. Uh, but yeah, I used to take the Crown Victoria a lot just because it's one that is still being used uh, with the Highway Patrol and the Sheriff Department, they haven't phased it out yet. Although there are a lot fewer of them than what they used to be. I don't necessarily take this Suburban out um, very much at all for patrol because it has a, a, a tendency to not turn very well when you're going at higher speeds and uh, hugging the corners. It's uh, very bad. Oh, red light. Okay, who did that? I don't like red light runners. Who did the red light? Where are they? Suspicious. Oh, okay, never mind. Ooh, we got a smoking pipe right there, too. Okay. Got a smoking drive or a suspicious character. So let's. Oh, what the heck, driver? Suspicious driver, so let's go see what's going on with them. Must be under the influence of something. I pulled you over because you're swerving across the road. I was probably a little too deep in my thoughts. I'm sorry. Okay, well, just to make sure... Out of your car step and move to the sidewalk, please. Let's go and uh, check you out a little better than uh, letting you sit in the car there. Because if, uh, if you have something going on, like driving under the influence of something, narcotics... I need to see your driver's license and registration, alcohol. please. We yeah, gotta see. sure, officer. Now, once again, like I mentioned in some of Ooh, so wrong. <laughs> okay, <laughs> wrong. Look at... And you, you can see right off the bat, Sunder, Kaja, Kaiji or something like that. So, like I mentioned before in a lot of my other videos, I go straight to the computer. I don't just spend hours looking at their license and their insurance card, which she don't have. I just go straight to the computer key, the C key. Boom, like that. And this will tell you all about them right away. Well, of course, obviously, you look at the picture, you know. That's one thing for sure I look at. 
I'll make sure I look at the picture first. Not, I don't care about everything else that's on there, the information on there. Because once I hit the computer key, it's going to show me if the picture matches or not. And if it does, then I immediately look over here to see if anything's in the red. If I see a lot of green, then it doesn't worry me. When I see a one red, I already know that's the gun permit. So that's nothing major unless I find a weapon on them and they don't have a permit. And then I look at the violation record. They uh, issued a ticket and a verbal warning. But it doesn't matter because it's the wrong uh, picture that came up in our uh, database on the computer. So uh, this person is going to go to jail for having a, a stolen ID. So let's go ahead and give it back. But before we do that, let's go ahead and uh, test them to see what they're under the You'll influence of. You'll take a of. test to see if you're driving under the influence of drugs. Because maybe we can cite them for that too. No, not that. Let's see if they're under the influence of alcohol. They may be Please or may not be. peacefully while I take a sample to check if you're drunk. All right, yeah. So they're under the influence, just a point over, a point two over, because uh, it's zero point zero eight is the over uh, drunk le uh, limit. Um, okay, so that's that. So we can't really give them the ticket. Let's see. Yeah, you can't give them a ticket for that. But let me see if is there a ticket for the uh, violation that I stopped her for? No. For driving, uh, you know, a bit erratic. So let's go ahead and uh, detain them and put the bracelets on her for having a stolen ID. The reason why you're under arrest is because you're carrying a stolen ID. Please, officer. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to search her, say, make sure she don't have illegal weapons on her. Please cooperate for a search procedure. Just don't fart in my face, okay? Because that would be bad. I would not like you very much if you did that. Okay, nothing major. Let's go ahead. Please proceed with me to the police car. Let's go ahead and detain her and place her in the vehicle. I didn't leave enough room over there on that side uh, to get her in comfortably, so we'll put her over here on this side. Please get in the car. And the good thing is that we're not far from the precinct either, so or the police station, so we can head back over there. Oh, my... Uh, bad on me. I forgot to uh, search her vehicle and then tow it. Because you get points for all this, you know. Alright, nothing found in there. Let's check her trunk. Found a legal item. Okay, maybe there's a gun in there. Switchblades. Marijuana. Okay. not There's uh, 0 0.25. If she had that on her, I couldn't arrest her for that because it has to be... Uh, uh, an ounce, 1.0. They could, uh, there it is. There's the handgun. Surprised I didn't get a lot of points for that one. I have a vehicle here that needs towing. All right, I'm gonna tow it I away. I need a record at my current location, please. And if sure. it will be with you shortly. Now, on my other video that I, uh, before this video, I had mentioned one thing about calling out for the tow truck and how I can move immediately while I'm calling it. After I call it, I can move immediately. Anytime you detain somebody and you ask them a question or see an ID or something, you're stuck there. You're frozen. You can't move anywhere. I don't like that. They should give you the opportunity or the option to call or talk to any individual uh, civilian pedestrian on the street and let you move. You know, just, you know, why, why keep you uh, frozen there? All right. Uh, oh, where did it say to take her to? Uh, Callahan. Okay. Uh, Callahan, we're just we're right there, so not far. All right, let's go. You have the right to remain silent. These things make may be used for or against you. You have the right to a competent and independent counsel. What was that blue dot? You cannot afford the services. What was that blue dot? Was. The government will provide you. You understand these rights. All right. Let's get in the holding cell. Off you go. I'm taking you to our precinct cell now. I thought she was she barefooted. Oh, she had boots on. First, it looked like she was barefooted because, you know, she, her, her feet were moving very quickly, and the boots are brown. Her skin is dark or brown too, and I thought she was barefooted. Please don't get stuck on this. 
Thank you. All right, time to get in. Well, there's a lot going on now. I think the more hours you spend uh, on the simulator, a lot more happens all at once. Because there's people littering, drinking in public, smoking tailpipes, uh, running red lights, no signals. I mean, there's so much happening at one time. It's like, wow, it's, it's uh, you know, it's uh, a lot happening. It's, it's uh, getting more demanding, you know. Oh, Ron, a red light, okay. Nope, buddy, you're... Would help if I drive better, huh? Pull over. Right here. Right here's a good spot. Where are you going? Pull over. That's right. Pull over right here. I wish I had a, a speaker uh, PA. Okay. Got their license plate in the database. Excuse me, officer. Can you help me, please? I would. Uh, give me a minute. After I take care of this driver here. I pulled you over for running a red light. Excuse I me, officer. think Could you, you didn't out, see please? correctly. Uh -oh. It was still green. Dial it, pupils. Okay, we're going to make an uh, order then. Out of your exit. car and move to the sidewalk, no, officer, please. I require help. They have no. a handicap placard, too. Stop. See, look. Somebody's stealing the... Uh, oh, no. Yeah, maybe. Somebody's Excuse stealing... Excuse me. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm detaining somebody. Lady, hold on. Thank you, I appreciate it. Okay, first let's give uh, cite him for running the red Excuse light. Excuse me, officer. I need your help, please. Here's a traffic light violation ticket. That will be between 120 and 250 dollars. You're ruining my day. Could you please help me, officer? Okay, stay right there. Don't go nowhere. I'm gonna help this lady. Let me get on this side though, so I can see you. I'm looking for the stadium. Can you show me the direction? Of course. Let me direct you to the stadium. Hope he doesn't run off. There you go, right there. There you go, lady. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You see how I was frozen there and I couldn't move anywhere? I had to wait till it got back from that little uh, change of map thing. Okay, uh, we gave him the ticket, so now let's Show check, your ID and check proof his of uh, if available license and Here registration. Like I said, I look at the picture first. Okay, picture seems like it matches, and I go straight to the computer. Because the computer will show me, you know, if the, the violations are the uh, uh, not valids and valids. If I see all green and just that one red, you know, you, you start getting used to this. It's a routine where you get used to seeing a whole bunch of green and one red. You know that's the, most of the time it's gun permit. So the second thing is the violation record. You know, what do they got? They got conviction of vehicle theft. A lot of verbal warnings. It was issued tickets. Uh, all right. So no um, invalids of anything. So let's get back his uh, his license. Now we're gonna DUI test him for drugs first. I'm just collecting a sample to see or if you used alcohol. any drugs. You can do whatever driving. you want. You could do the alcohol first. Or, you know, this is just the way I do it. Okay, nothing there. His eyes look dilated. Or his eyes uh, look a little droopy. All right, I'm just collecting a sample to check if you had any alcohol while driving. No, all right, just a little bit, not too bad. All right, everything looks good. Well, yeah, I can't search him because it didn't look like it came up with anything else. Well, actually, let me frisk him. I could at least frisk Allow him. Allow me to do a pat down search in case you're carrying oh, anything illegal. Oh, that smoking car. Going by on the left. Maybe he might book and run. Yeah, he has some marijuana, but it's nothing over the limit. So, all right, you're free to go, sir. You're good to go. Drive safe and have a nice day. All right. It's good to see you again, officer. Goodness. All right. Well, I didn't get you in time. All right. Let's see what's going on out there.
lot more known. The smoky cars over there. I'm gonna try to get that smoky car. Oh, he's spewing out a lot of black smoke. That's a, that's way too much smoke to uh, be letting go without sighting them. We got uh, up-to-date tags, 2024. Hello. I need to detain you because your car has excessive smoke. Sorry, but I don't think so. Wrong answer. Not like Please alcohol. exit the vehicle and step to the sidewalk. Okay. When they give answers like that, it's time to, pull, to uh, ask them to exit the vehicle and investigate them deeper into why they would give such an answer. Uh, a lot of people that really have nothing to hide are nicer. They don't talk to you back like that. First, we're going to cite you for a smoking tailpipe. You're being charged and ticketed for between $300 and $400 for driving with the smoking tailpipe. So much money for such a little infraction. Driver's license and insurance card, please. Yeah, sure, officer. I hate that I can hear the footsteps of all these people walking. Come on now. They don't need to be so loud. And I already reduced the volume to 20% on everything. Go to the computer. Oh, open warrant. Oh, no, you're going to jail. Verbal warning, driving tinted to windows. Uh, not your lucky, uh, it's not your lucky day today. Uh, Mrs. Oster Osterk. Okay, there you go. So she has an open warrant, but we still want to check her out, right? We want to make sure she's not I'll under the influence. to check if you've taken drugs before driving. Oh, my, come on. Look at this vibrating, infiltrating the body, human, pedestrian. Come on, fix those bugs. Please cooperate peacefully while I take a sample to check if you're drunk. Oh my god, jeez. Okay, so now we know she's under the influence, so not only are we going to arrest her uh, for the open warrant, but now we have it under the record that she's under the influence. But uh, I'm not going to, you can't, well, let's see. Yeah, let's see. Let me, ch I was just, I just want to check something. Okay, all right. Let's go ahead and put the bracelets on her. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> I'm doing all the the wrong reason ones. why you're under arrest is because you have an open warrant on you. Please don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, so it's like you have some a felony on you, and you're asking me not to do that by putting the cuffs on you. Uh, so like what? I just gotta let you go and say okay, bye, no problem. Oh, okay, I won't do that. Uh, you can go now. And then just wander off I'm taking you uh, to with the a felony, car. and just live your life like that. And get away with all your b bad habits. No, we got to do something about it so that hopefully you'll correct it, and get it taken care of. Watch your head. Okay, now we got to go and check our car. Officer. Hello. Hello, citizen. They're almost done here. Okay. I'm not finding much of anything here. Thought I'd get uh, lucky on finding some drugs in there at least. But, you know, can't always find things like that. Can't always find a gun or anything. So, it, you know, what's really amazing is that a person like that that uh, has an open warrant and is under the influence, you'd think you'd find something in the car, like a bottle of liquor or some marijuana or something. And look at, we didn't come up with anything. 
So she's smart enough not to carry it in her vehicle to get busted for it. So let's go ahead and have the tow truck come and get this car. I have a vehicle here that needs towing. I need a record at my current location, please. Sure, it will be with you shortly. Okay, they want us to take her to Callahan, and I think that's where my uh, GPS is at right now. So let's confirm. Yeah. GPS is still on Callahan. Oh, <laughs> it, I did that on purpose because I was trying to see how fast I could go uh, and to see if it'll flip over or what. So I did that on purpose to see what would happen. I was trying to see how fast I could go before it starts skidding on the rear of the axle of the tires. See how heavy it was. It handles it a lot better than the uh, Crown Victoria does, that's for sure. Okay, I'm heading to the station right now. See, see how well it handled that? Now, my driving isn't that great because I'm using a keyboard. And I believe if I had a, a steering. wheel on my desk here. Might as well just go ahead and park it. I'm gonna, I know usually I don't pull in straight like this. I usually back in because you want to make sure that when you need to get in the your patrol vehicle, you want to get in in a hurry and take off in a hurry. Uh, so you park it, you back it in so that you could get in and take off right away as opposed to having it face and nose first to our precinct cell now then you have to back up and then you know put it in drive to get out of there when you get in the car when it's facing like this like the crown victoria then you just get in and drive straight out but when you have it facing like i do like over there then you got to back up and then pull out so you know it saves you like a, a good you know decent amount of time I was going to take her over to uh, to my desk because <laughs> I was ready to clock out. Stay here. I wonder if I could take them that far. I never tried it. Next time I, re I detain somebody or have an arrestee, I'm going to see if I can walk them all the way to the back of the office where I have to check out. All right. Let's check out now. We're done. See, I wonder if I could bring them in here. All right, everybody. Um, thank you for watching uh, another patrol, another day or night patrol. Uh, if you like the video and you like uh, the videos that I post, go ahead and hit that like button or subscribe for uh, further uh, so you get uh, um, advised of other content. Um, I was just trying to find the word. Uh, What's that word I'm looking for? Yeah, we'll post that in the comments as well. With, uh, messaging, you could get messaged or you could get notified. There it is. Uh, you get notified of uh, further content that I post on my channel. All right, until then, everybody, take care of yourselves and everyone else. Uh, peace out.